Hey mom, it's your girl Simone Toy Twins. I'm Maya. And I'm Micah. And today, we are going to be reading some of your guys' deepest, darkest, dirtiest secrets. I thought you guys were gonna give us silly little secrets or not even respond to the poll at all. But sure enough, we have your deepest, darkest secrets and now I have to die with them. <laughs> Majority of them were just about like that you guys have a crush on us But some of them also made me want to pray for y'all some of them are illegal now We are not God or anything that you believe in so we are not here to judge We are just here to free you of those secrets even if people don't know who you are We now know who you are and not only that you might leave this video feeling a better person because I know I haven't done at least anything near as bad as what is on my phone right now. But then again, not here to judge. Everyone makes mistakes. We're all young and naive at one point in our life. As long as you just don't repeat these mistakes, then I think you're good. And these are all anonymous. So if you did submit a secret, and it's one that you've been holding deep inside for a very long time, thank you for telling us it for the sake of this video. <laughs> so without further ado, let's just jump into these secrets. Cause I wanna delete them off my phone immediately. Okay, so Micah and I screenshotted off of our separate accounts. So she don't know the secrets I have for my account and vice versa. So it's gonna be a surprise for both of us hearing what people left on our accounts. At the end of this, should we have to tell one of our secrets to make it even? I don't know if I have one. I have one. What, do I know it? Yes, you know it. Oh, I feel like I've shared everything online. Go ahead, Micah. Okay, starting off subtle. This person said, I bite my toenails, I have never cut them. I'm just, <laughs> how the heck can you reach your foot to your mouth? But why is that your like resort? Why not just clip on one? And two, does that mean you have like a foot fetish? Like would you also bite other people's toenails? Well, I'm just thinking if they bite them with their teeth, then they probably don't clean the inside of them too. So their toenails will probably stink and they're sticking ah! <laughs> in their mouth. They got toe jam. <laughs> it's disgusting. I recommend you clip your toenails and clean the inside of them. Maybe they have like a fear of clippers, so at least they're like no. still keeping maintenance down No, because you, know? you could even get like a nail file and just file away. The last resort would be your teeth. I wouldn't even, I would just have long toenails <laughs> forever. You do have to be very flexible to do that, so props to you. My family doesn't know, but I still talk and hang out with my ex. They don't like him at all. That would be me, so I can't even say it. <laughs> yeah, Micah cannot speak. If your family don't like him, it's probably for good reason because your family's supposed to have your best interests at heart. So I recommend you stop talking to him because if you're out and about and your parents think you're doing something else that you told them that you're doing and really you're seeing your ex and something happens to you, how are you going to explain yourself? You're not even supposed to be with him in the first place. I would just like to say if you have to do something behind the people that love you backs, then you probably shouldn't be doing it. I wouldn't do anything behind their back. I would just be upfront about it. I just know that they wouldn't. Approve. Not necessarily approve, they would just expect more of me. Like, you know better. Next secret. I called Domino's and ordered a bunch of pizzas to my teacher's house that I disliked. I don't think this is something that's bad. I think it's like super petty, but also I would be ecstatic if I was your teacher. I would be even more mean to you because you're paying for my dinner, lunch, and breakfast. No, he could have said cash and then they paid at the door. So all these pizzas. Oh, I didn't even think about Goober, that. you think he volunteered? <laughs> entirely paid for dinner for her. I was like reading it and I was like, how is that bad? Like you just gave her free food. Dang, that's pretty messed up. And a waste of food because you know she like turned him away and was like, I didn't order these. Also, how do you know your teacher's address? Kind of concerned. But I mean, they could track down his number and figure out who ordered them and then he would have to pay. I don't know. I think that's a very childish thing to do. For as much as I've disliked certain people, I've never done anything like out of spite towards them. Maybe you leave them on open, but that was it. I don't think I've ever gone out of my way to make someone's life difficult. This one says, me and my girl best friend did it on my mom's bed. This is a guy. This is the reason why they say guys and girls cannot have best friends. But also, I just want to know how the heck you get in the mood in like in your parents' bedroom. Like, I don't understand. There's just like so many other places. Like, why your mom's bed? First of all, that's so disrespectful. And then your poor mom has to sleep in that bed not knowing that you might have fluids somewhere in her bed. Like, Disgusting. Next one. My girlfriend's sister sent me nudes. I didn't ask for them and I haven't told my girlfriend. I would immediately tell my girlfriend. Especially because you said nudes, like plural. So has this been like a one-time thing? Has she just sent you like a mass amount of nudes? Or has she like sent you some, you disregarded it, and then she kept sending you them? I think it's worse the longer you wait to tell your girlfriend. It's just like, did you respond? Did you like the nude? And then like you're around her family and like the sister 
knows that you've seen her naked and your girlfriend does it like you're in an awkward position and you're gonna dig yourself a hole if you do not tell your girlfriend but also like the sister's crazy that and why is she comfortable enough to think that sending you nudes were okay but to not check that right away makes him look super guilty i would immediately tell the girlfriend and block the sister like i wouldn't even wait two seconds and no response is a response so if you're not telling this chick straight up hey that's not right i'm letting your sister know you need to lose my number and stuff like that she's gonna think that you're gonna want her to keep sending them so i would just put it into that immediately and come clean to your girlfriend but i'm just like i cannot imagine no. me sending stuff to your man i've been i can't even imagine sending things in general i can't even look at myself in that way so the whole thing is just bizarre to me no not, like screw the nudes like just me even flirting with your man that's so weird this one's kind of gross i sent someone pretending to be micah two hundred dollars for nudes first of all why are you paying for nudes second of all i'm kind of offended because if i was that type of girl i would definitely be charging more oh my god i'm just kidding but yeah there's a lot of talk about fake micas on snapchat i'm pretty sure there was mine as well but these people are scamming you guys for so much money and i'm just like please how could you not be smarter than this how could you be so desperate though too to be like oh my gosh i think this is micah talking to me let me just send the two 200 and see if I get to see her naked like I promise you do not want to see anything that's under here one and two you guys know the type of woman that I am so for you to even think that that was something I was doing is absolutely insane to me but I don't know how many times we have to tell y'all we only have one public snapchat account and it's the Montoya twins with a z anyways our one public snapchat account is verified so you guys know it's us so stop giving people money you cannot be that gullible please this next secret is I lied to to two of my friends saying they were talking ish and they ended their friendship so this is just one of those scenarios again where you're being an instigator and causing problems for no reason like if you're that bored flirt with someone it doesn't even sound like they're <laughs> bored it sounds like you were jealous of maybe they had like a stronger friendship than you did with the other two so you ruined theirs but that's messed up that's such a crazy lie to keep up with be like oh yeah so-and-so said this about you and then they go and confront that person and say yeah so-and-so said you said this about me and then you're you're like no I'm not and it just makes you look bad as well poor friends I cheated on my girlfriend while she and I were on the phone not my proudest moment how do you even do that <laughs> like I need the scenario were they on FaceTime because I feel like if I was on FaceTime I could tell if someone was getting it on that is over the phone. so crazy you had to meet up with this other chick get freaky with her and then either you or your girlfriend called you and then you decided to answer like a lot had to go into that not only that though like the girl that you were cheating on your girlfriend with knows you have a girlfriend and it's still okay messing around with you also you must not respect your girlfriend at all to not one cheat on her but cheat on her while on the phone with her i don't know what i would do in that situation that is so sad this one's rough I think I would cry for days if I was in this scenario. My twin's ex wants me. I honestly feel like this has happened to us before. They just decide not to tell us because they already messed things up with one twin. Ooh. And I'm just saying, to me, when guys meet us, I feel like they automatically like both of us until they decipher which personality they want to go with or whatever. Or whichever one likes them back. Because we don't ever like the same dude, so that too. There's been multiple times where one guy has hit Micah up and then if she denied him, he would immediately come and hit me up as if me and Micah don't talk and know that that person's been in their DMs. Even though I know the possibilities of this happening are very, very slim, I would absolutely crawl up in a corner and just cry to myself because then you start overthinking the whole relationship the whole time. Like, oh my gosh, did he initially want her? Did oh, he I like think her that the whole time? all the time. Do you think about her while I was with him? Like, that's just so messed up. I literally think about that all the time. I have a wife, but a kid from another girl. Is it a secret to your wife? No, this was it. His wife doesn't know that he has another kid somewhere i was about to say that's normal no yeah <laughs> people have kids outside of marriages all the time but his wife the woman he's married to has no idea that he has a kid with another woman somewhere out there that's a problem was this kid prior to your marriage or did it happen within your marriage i bet it was prior she's a stepmom and she don't even know their kids are gonna have half siblings somewhere and not even know but since you know you have a kid out there i hope you get to see him or her within their lifetime was it like a one night stand situation 
situation and you guys accidentally had a baby or were you like in a long-term relationship and had this baby that's also important i don't know the fact that there's a baby and your wife don't know is kind of crazy i know for me when i get married i'll be giving him his first child at least that's what i will know she's gonna have that belief and then come to find out she didn't give you your first like anything that's so sad oh my gosh this just says in elementary i used to cut a piece of hair off of girls who were rude <laughs> when did you have time to do that how did you go about doing that like how did you get close enough with scissors to them that you just was it like a single strand of hair or was it like a chunk there's no way you'd get away with that sit behind them but the fact that there's more than one it's like you don't like any <laughs> of the girls at your school and were they like rude in general or specifically to you maybe they were rude because they saw you cutting other girls hair like, <laughs> what the heck yeah that's just another one of those things that's just like why when i was little i would sleepwalk and pee in random areas of the house i have never slept walk i have slept walked once in my life and i remember the dream till this day and my mom said i scared the crap out of her because i was just standing in the hallway like talking to them i didn't go far and i definitely didn't pee anywhere so it sounds like this happened many times for you so i hope your parents like put a diaper on you or something <laughs> how old are you one and two i mean it's kind of believable if you constantly sleepwalk because when you're in bed you know the times that you have peed the bed it's because you had a dream you're going to the bathroom or something so if they're sleepwalking i mean they can't help that they have one of those dreams wherever they happen to be standing in the house because like for it to happen multiple times like i would have to lock you up in your room and put you on a doggy pad or something cover your floor in doggy pads that's so sad. I'm 23, never had a girlfriend or my first kiss. Friends think I'm being modest, I just want the one. I think that's completely fine. I mean, coming from me and Maya, who hasn't had her first kiss, and me, I waited a long time to have my first kiss. I mean, it's all up to your own time frame and how you want things to play out for yourself, but also don't have unrealistic standards. No, everyone thinks, they're like, Maya, why are you waiting for this fairy tale kiss, this Cinderella moment? I'm like, I don't think my first kiss is going to be great at all. Because well, don't say that. I don't. I mean, I'm not expecting anything like crazy, and grand. like a romantic scene, or like. Oh, it like, can be. It can be, but I'm not expecting that. At this point, I'm just like, let's get it over. With. No, no. <laughs> I don't want to just get it over with. If I wanted to get it over with, I would have done it years ago. It's just I would like my first kiss because that's a special moment for me. I would like it to be with someone that there's something after that, you know, like potentially whether it be like boyfriend or girlfriend, or we get to know each other more. Or just because my past relationships of getting to know guys and stuff something would come up of them having a girlfriend or they just weren't interested in me anymore and stuff so i just don't want any of that happen neither of us kiss just to kiss so you want it to have reason and purpose behind it besides there's no one in the world right now that can say they put their lips on mine <laughs> Kind of like a flake. I'm just the virgin thing, don't even worry about that. I feel like sex is overrated right now. That's all everyone seems to care about nowadays, and it's sad. So if you are sexually active, make sure that person loves you for you and not just your goods. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're the type to just do the do just to do it. I mean, everyone's preferences are different. Just make sure you know what you want so you don't get hurt. Vice versa for the other person, make sure like y'all are very clear on, hey, this is all I'm looking for, or this is all I want, so that way you don't hurt yourself or the other person. Read ugly love. That's all I gotta say. My brother is having a baby next month and I am the only one in the family who knows. I don't think this is like a deep, dark secret, but it's been eight months and your family doesn't know that they're expecting a grandson or granddaughter. That's crazy. How do you hide a pregnancy that long? Maybe they just fell off bad and haven't rekindled, so. Everyone has their reasons, so I don't find that too, like, yeah, shocking. It's not like a thing. crazy thing, yeah, but for the baby to be here next month, could you imagine someone just be like, hey, I know we haven't talked in a long time, but I have a baby now. I'm a dad. You're a grandma your grandpa it's kind of life-changing stuff so maybe he tells your family before the baby's here and if it is a case where they fell off bad babies can't solve problems but majority of the times a baby is something that can bring people back together and give them a reason to work things out because they're like hey there's a baby involved now let's squash whatever beef you know what i mean don't have a baby just to yeah that's what it sounds like that. that's not what i'm <laughs> saying no i get what i'm saying oh, oh my gosh my hip just popped. A baby does bring a lot of people together and makes everyone happy. You're bringing this poor little innocent baby into the world. They don't know that you guys have beef. Like, <laughs> just all come together and enjoy the baby, you know? Don't know the scenario, but congratulations, you're gonna be an auntie. My first kiss was with my stepbrother like five years ago. 
I know you can't help who you love, but you can to a certain extent. Was this kiss with your stepbrother before he became your stepbrother? Or was it while you guys were like living in the same house? You guys are siblings now. I can't have an opinion on that scenario until I know the facts behind it. For your sake, I hope you guys were already stepbro and sis when you had this kiss. Because then that's really, really gross and awkward. And hopefully it was just one kiss and it ended there because if it kept going and you guys already were aware that you're step siblings, then that seems like you guys got some issues. They're not blood, but your parents are together. So that's just weird. Like, why would you want your siblings? Yeah. Point blank, period. That's weird. That's gross. For Halloween, I went to ask for candy at the house of the married woman I was sleeping with. First of all, how old are you that you're having sex and trick-or-treating? Because that is just crazy to me. Adults don't trick-or-treat. So I'm wondering what age was here and what costume did you wear to the door? Like, she knows <laughs> you, right? Shame on her and you for knowing that she's married, committed to another individual and y'all doing what y'all are doing. But also, that's so manipulative of you. <laughs> you probably made her like grab her herself. pants. Y'all are both wrong. That's all I have to say, but that's even more wrong that you would go out of your way to like scare her like that. I would say unless you had the absolute intentions of coming clean, why are you even going around her house? Y'all both doing tricks and treating. Someone said they did drugs and got addicted to them and then rehabilitated without letting anyone know. Wait, so you did the whole drugs and rehabilitated without anyone knowing? Props to you. Congratulations on becoming clean. I think that's something crazy to have to go through on your own. But it's even crazier that you knew you had to better yourself and you didn't have to have anyone tell you or sit you down and, you know, have an intervention like, hey, you're hurting yourself. You went and did that on your own and you finished it. Not only that, like, no one knows that you went through any of that, so that's kind of good for you, I guess, in a way. Yeah, yeah and really you didn't involve that. anyone, you didn't hurt anyone with the choices you were making, so I think that's awesome of you. Good job. We all go through it, but you went through it alone and came out clean. That's awesome. My cousin tempted me six different times to lay down with her, dot, dot, dot. We did it one time. Bro, <laughs> I have no comment on this at all. Okay, if she tempted you once, I would tell somebody and then second off, don't put yourself alone or in a situation with her if you know she's like this, but for it to happen six times and then on the seventh time you finally went through with it, like you're just as crazy as she is. I find it so odd whenever I see TikToks and they're like, me not being jealous of any chicks he's around, that one cousin. That's why, because there's freaks out there like this. I would not be concerned about any of my boyfriend's girls. No, cousins. but I'm saying, like, that would never come to mind, but that would also never come to my mind. Like, you've slept with your cousin. Dang, imagine like, getting cheated on, but not only getting cheated on, it was with his their cousin. Their family! That'd be crazy. Oh, this is another sleeping with a cousin related one. What the heck? I slept with my cousin and I didn't know. Okay, that's different. If you didn't know, that's kind of crazy because we have cousins everywhere. There's cousins that I haven't met till this day. So, like, if you didn't know, you didn't know. But that's still really, really awkward. Like, imagine going to the family functions after that that's so unfortunate you gotta do background checks on everybody <laughs> yeah because then like if i'm married then i'm already gonna know who his family is and who my family is and like all that it's funny because there was two different situations where i talked to guys from my hometown and my dad was always like make sure micah that you're not somehow related to them before you catch feelings because it's a really small town and we have a lot of people in our family so that was never a problem for me thank goodness but i cannot imagine i would be traumatized i would play trust fall with my female friends just so I can catch them by their chichis. <laughs> this is why girls are not allowed to have guy friends growing no. up. Like <laughs> That is such a like dude thing to say. <laughs> hey girls, let's play trust fall. And then I just fall. Chi <laughs> Chi's. <laughs> Bro, no. Oh he took me down bad to want to touch Chi Chi's playing trust fall. That's like when they're like, yeah, like that. Or, That's how corny that or is. Or is your hand bigger than mine? And then they hold hands. <laughs> That's that type of flame. Oh my gosh. But dang, you must have been touching a lot of chichis. Yeah, how many trust falls you got going on? Like what? <laughs> this one says, I lied to my ex and said I cheated on her just to end our two-year relationship. I just didn't know how to end it. Oh my gosh, I would much rather a breakup. That is probably the worst way to end it. <laughs> of all case scenarios, that would probably be top two of the worst ways to end a relationship. One, a girl does not want to know that you cheated on her. And two, why would you want to go down as a cheater and now everyone's gonna know you're a cheater and you didn't even cheat 
But now she's gonna be constantly wondering when did he cheat on me? When did he start talking to this girl? Who is this girl? Like, this is probably eating her alive now at night. You're not a cheater at all, you're just a liar and a chicken. Like, just break up with her. Relationships end. That's a part of life. Some of y'all aren't meant to be together forever. Some of y'all aren't soulmates. The best thing you do is be honest with yourself and with your partner. If you fell out of love, as unfortunate and heartbreaking as that is, it can happen in relationships. So you just need to tell her that. <laughs> Coward! But now you're a liar and a cheater, bro. I loved my best friend for a long time. We've been friends for about 10 years and I'll probably never tell her. <gasps> oh, I just realized that this is a chick that said this. I thought it was a dude. Aww. Aww. You've had friends think of you in that way. Yeah. But I, I mean, I can't help that. That's yeah. what they're doing. Because if you know two of your friends straight, like, what can you do? I would just keep that a secret then, too. Either come clean and see how they want to go about it or keep it to yourself and don't, you know, put her in any situation that make her uncomfortable because if you know she's straight then you know you don't even want to cross that line yeah if you know she's straight for sure i wouldn't even tell her if there's a slightest chance that she's not you just got to be ready to risk y'all's friendship this one i hope is a lie please be a lie one time at school i tripped a kid with no arms then asked him if he needed a hand ah, did you at least help him get up because that is so wrong that is so evil you gotta plan that one out because if someone falls in front of me i'm not asking do you need a hand like you purposely send them if they don't have any hands or anything too like they fell on their face <laughs> Right? That's so mean. Why? Why do you guys do these things? They're so unnecessary. <laughs> Y'all are some bullies. What the heck? I catfished someone for four years, dot, dot, dot. Then Ish hit the fan, but we became best friends IRL. Okay, you gotta be going through some personal itch to catfish somebody. I have been catfished and it is not fun at all because you think you're pouring like your feelings to this person and like you're kind of like letting them in in a way into your own personal life that you probably wouldn't let your friends in and then come to find out it's not even that person that you thought it was. It's really heartbreaking and it's really embarrassing. It causes trust issues, can change the amount you're vulnerable with someone that actually might like you in the future. But for years that's a lengthy time yeah. to keep that up when i got catfished it was first of all i'm not stupid like i don't just talk to anyone over the internet this was my friend that set me up with this guy who said it was her cousin and all my friends at school knew about him they're like yeah we've met so and so did so i'm like well why wouldn't i trust yeah. My friends are telling me they've all met him and they know who he is and stuff. Why wouldn't I believe it? My catfish didn't last all but like what five months maybe it wasn't long We started putting pieces together fast, but yeah four years I couldn't imagine talking to someone more than six months and not have met them. Yeah, that's kind of crazy, too But I'm glad you guys are friends now I mean, that's really big of that person to you know want to remain friends with you because obviously You know if you're talking to someone for four years, you must like them So I guess they don't want to give that personality and friendship that you guys had up but that's like you can't trust them anymore i know that's rough oh don't do it again okay this is my last one actually i have two more oh my gosh i'm gonna let maya read one more that i have just because they're so crazy i have to see them this one says i cheated the entire time throughout high school and somehow got valedictorian valedictorian valid victorian yeah valid victorian well, that is terrible because imagine that person that was right under them how hard they work they were supposed to have that spot i don't understand the point of cheating like in video games or school or whatever because then when it comes down to it where you have to prove yourself you can't because you cheated your whole way through it that's just crazy that it went that far that you got that and you gotta give the speech yeah how'd you cheat that good that you made it all the way to the top of your class i don't understand that that's a lot of cheating that would eat me alive cheating is one thing but cheating to get to the top of your class Maybe his class was small. I don't know. I don't even understand how you would find the answers for everything. Because, like, scantrons and stuff? How are you so slick? Or were people just giving you their answers voluntarily? And then realized, well, now you're at the top of our class. Look what we did. <laughs> Last one. When I was four years old, I poked holes in my folks' condoms. And little bro was born one year later. <laughs> Okay, one, how do you know what condoms are at four, four years old? Four years old! How do you know to poke holes in them? And how do you know them? to poke holes in them? Did you want a sibling? I feel like that was a conversation you could have had with your parents. But at four years old, I don't understand how you know what that stuff is and what it's about. I don't think you do. You can barely comprehend a sentence at four years old. I didn't learn about condoms and stuff until we were like in middle school. Middle school, <laughs> yeah. Let alone, Let alone my way to find them and, and the then poke, poke holes, holes in them. them. Like, I didn't know for a while that condoms broke and 
stuff. That's terrible. Your brother probably thinks he's an accident now. Your brother is probably very grateful to you though. Cause like he wouldn't be here <laughs> if it wasn't for your doing. I feel like I need to go like shower. Yeah, shower and rinse all this filthy secrets <laughs> off of me. That's it for this week's video guys. We hope you enjoyed and we hope you say a little prayer or whatever it is that you do when something bad happens. <laughs> Again, we're not here to judge even though it may seem like we were. We still love you the same. All love over here. Even if you love your cousin. <laughs> this week's post notification shout out goes to Ash. Thank you Ash for liking this video, commenting tacos down below, subscribing to your girl's YouTube channel, and following your girls on IG and Twitch. If you want a post notification shout out in next week's video, all you have to do is everything Ash did. I don't even know what to tell you guys. We're speechless. <laughs> Thank you guys for sharing your secrets with us. Even though I wish I could go back in time where I didn't know them. They were still fun to read. It was a good time. Comment down below if you guys want us to do this again. Oh, do you have a secret for them? I have a secret. I'll tell y'all. A few years ago, I used to talk to a YouTuber. You guys will never know who it was. <gasps> I used to talk to a TikToker. Oh my god. That Before he blew up. Yeah, he was just an average freaky dude, like the most normal <laughs> person. But now he's known for not the best things at all. And it's so awkward thinking back to little old me that was talking to him. It's crazy. Yeah. There you go. There's our secrets. <laughs> Comment down below a secret that you're willing to share that you're fine with everyone seeing because your name is going to be next to it <laughs> down there. So. But without further ado, adios amigos. And as always, stay beautiful, my loves. Mwah. Woo! I'll keep you my dirty little secrets. Don't tell anyone or you'll be just another regret. <laughs> Who has to know the way she feels?